Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Icarus. I am Zystars, and today is an important day. Look at all this. And this is only a fraction of what I had out here before prepping for today's work. So today, ladies and gentlemen, oh yes, we can we can use third person. Isn't that cool? Um, I'm not going to because it's insanity with this game, but you can do it. So today, I went and spent... I don't know, three hours, two hours, something, mining stone, chopping down a few more trees. Uh, I got, I went in back into the cave, got a little bit of iron. How's my oxygen and water? It's fine for now. And uh, I leveled up. Here's the inside of the base now. We've got, we've got an herbalism bench where I crafted the antibiotic tonic. That'll help us get rid of the lung when we're in caves. We've got four four boxes, though pretty soon these are going to be gone. We've got a masonry bench to make stone. We've well, we've always had that, and I flipped the stairs because I think when we put the second floor up, I think I'd rather go this way. We'll eventually move the drying rack. It's just got, and I need some tree sap before I can start curing the leather. But we don't really need to cure the leather, so I'll probably not do that right now. Now this meat here. Exposure resistance is cool because when we go to places like the desert and the, uh, what do you call it? The desert and the, the snow biome, it's going to be nice to have that until we get the really good armor. If we have to go in there before we get the really good armor, it'll be super handy. But for now, we're going to be fine. This is all still fine out here. Maybe we got a goat down there freaking out. Nothing really going on. Oh, there's a gator. Two gators. But they shouldn't bother us. I did have a gator walk up on the base and start attacking the door while I was doing all this stuff. While I was doing all this grinding. And that was a huge drag. But that's not what's important. Today, today we are going to rebuild the base out of stone. So we've got these. Now, here's the deal with these. They don't... Let's see, we're, we're going to need the hammer, too. And we're not going to need the second bow. I ran out, and my bow broke while I was out murdering, so I built another one. So, the foundations in this game don't take the place of floors. So, when it comes to foundations, you're going to just put them under the floor. Did that? Okay. So, because... Things don't snap to foundations, and some things don't, don't, they won't go on the foundations at all. So you have to have a floor above the foundation. Now, there is a floor that's a little bit nicer, the interior wood, but until we're at the point where we don't need blueprints for survival, like new ones, we are, we, that was me, we are not going to be um, using those. Now, at this point, I can take down, oh yeah, the poles. But I'm not going to. There we go. I know I, I always mix it up when I'm looking at how many I have left. Like if I have four left of something, but it's in slot five, I'll hit number four because I'm a doof. Okay. Okay. So that was the easy upgrade because these will the foundations take the place of the sticks. Now I like the foundations because they have 2,500 hit points. The sticks have a thousand. Now, the I have some of the posts. The stone posts are 2,500 as well, which is kind of silly that the foundations cost more than the posts, but they have the same hit points. But I just like the look of the foundations better. Oh, you know what? I didn't make enough stone floors for the roof. Well, that was... Eh, dim. But I made enough stone walls. Now, here's the other thing. What am I going to do for the roof? Do I want to just go up and make it square? Or do I want the second floor to have an actual sloped roof? I think I want to have a sloped roof. But with this game, don't ever get ahead of yourself. You always need to make sure that you are upgrading... Oops. That you are upgrading evenly, you know? You always have to upgrade from the bottom up. If you upgrade from the top down, your base will fall apart. So with these, as long as you have them in your inventory, you just right-click. 
and it upgrades. The other cool thing, if we look in our inventory, the wood walls are all there. Must be repaired. Well, that's good. What game was I playing where I was upgrading and it... <laughs> I didn't have it repaired? I think it might have been Ark. I, I, I had walls that weren't repaired and it just gave me a stack of walls that were broken okay now the, the that's good now we don't need to upgrade the floor because the floor is now inside well actually the floor wasn't taking damage before anyway so let's build I'm not very good at building sloped things let's see so these things cost six nails well nail stone leather and wood so it's quite a bit. These things cost a lot. Oh, you know what? You know what the foundations do that the posts don't? Which this might mean that the posts are better. The foundations give support in all four corners. Right? Instead of just support on the one corner that it's on. So depending on the resource cost, it could be more economical. Right? Because four of these, that's only eight wood where this is 12. Four of these is 24 stone where this is 40. The leather's the same, and 4 times 6 for nails is, what, 24? Whereas this is only 12. So it's slightly less nails and more wood and stone, which is not a bad trade-off. Because nails, it's one iron ingot for a bunch of, for, what, 10 nails. So that is what it is. Now, if we were going to put a slope on the second floor, we're going to need a couple... To do that hmm it's getting dark yeah it is it's after six so let's fire up the stove uh, could I put that in there no <laughs> where's my wood do I have any wood in here that's my wood for repairs here we go is my food all cooked no Get my healing food cooked. And we'll drag that down so it shares. And that's going to go bad. So it shares durability. There we go. And we'll let's sleep through the night. There we are. And am I in? There we go. <laughs> that's not good. Okay, so we've got the walls for the upstairs. I made sure I did that. There's something outside. Oh, it's a bird. Hey, bird. Silly bird. All right, uh, let's see. The next step is going to be to put this foundation. Did I? Did I miss a foundation? I could have swore I counted these. Oh, maybe... Maybe this? Come on. I don't think I can put one here. Yeah, that, that would just look tacky. I'm going to put stone all the way down that. But that's not, not at the moment. I do have some extra ones, in, or I have an extra one. So, I mean, that's not terrible. Okay, so let's grab... Hmm. Roughly hewn flagstones, unlikely to burn. Yeah, I'm not worried about... I'm not worried about them burning. Let's see. Let's... Let's build some roof pieces, because I do want to put a sloped roof on this base. So, we're... How many wide? Two, three, four, five, ten. So, let's do... Let's do 20 of these, and see where that gets us. I need more stone. Need more stone. Stone, 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 stone. Need more stones. Oh, I need to do a reinforced door as well. Need more stone. Stone, 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 stone. Oh, that's only 14. We're low on something else. Ah, wood. We are low on wood. It is interesting with these games where you have to manage your oxygen. This one, the base, is in a pressurized environment. Like, there's no way to get a pressurized environment to make your base a little more comfortable. You know, like games. No? Hold on. 
Oh, I'm out of stone as well. Yeah, I use a lot of stone building. Uh, I can't be out of stone. I just built... Well, maybe. There we go. Okay, so we'll go six. And we'll craft that. Oh, and then let's grab... These and these. Is that too much? Yeah. We'll come back down. We'll come back down. Let's close the door. I don't want that alligator rolling up on me again. Alright, and if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we only need one, which is nice. That's another thing that's a little bit different than the old arc. Um, oh, do we, oh, I was going to have this hang out. I wonder if it will cause damage. The floors didn't get damaged before, but this wouldn't be a floor, would it? It would, it would count as a roof. Hmm, maybe we won't. Let's put the walls up. Oh, wait, you know what? Oh, well, when next time the storm pops up, I'll show you something. <laughs> Damn it. A winter weather event. Okay, well, I'm not keen into my base falling apart, so let's just throw a thing there and we'll have to we'll have to do the roof. Oh, the hell with it. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? All right, so let's do a window there. Window there. The rest of these we'll make regular. So, I think... I might do this as a balcony. But if I do, this roof is going to have to be changed into stone. I'm not certain what I want to do yet. If I go like this with a door... I will have that roof that needs to be stone. Because this second floor won't need to be. If I instead go out one, I'll have a stone floor. No, you know what? That'll be fine. I can have a stone floor out here, and it'll look fine because it'll be outside. Apologies if you hear my dogs barking in the background. They are ridiculous. There's, there's a, I think there's a critter running around outside. It's freaking out all the neighborhood dogs. We live out in the country, so that it could be an elk. Or something along those lines. Just rolling around outside, being all elky. Come on. Alright, let's rotate that. And then let's put... I would like to put a window here and a window here. And then we'll go like that. Like that. Okay, so I'm gonna need just a... Yeah, the neighborhood dogs. I can hear them outside barking. They woke me up, the neighborhood dogs. They were barking like like there was a the friggin' cougar out there or something. Which shot me up because my wife, work, wife works the nights. And it kind of had me wondering if there was something outside and she had left the dogs out. She did that once before. He left the dogs outside, and uh, it was no it was no good. <laughs> Let's see. Well, not not late. Okay, so we've got a storm, right? So take a look at that. It's got the shelter buff. We open the door. Oh, it's not gonna do. It. There you go. No shelter. No shelter buff. Oh shit! And it's taking damage. So, what does that mean? That means if you have a base, I if you do an out an outpost. Right with, um, I have done a skinning bench outpost somewhere where I know wolves spawn, and other animals, so that we could have I could have more, more animals. You know, just kind of like you do. You you want to have a few more animals to, uh, to skin because they they just don't come up here. So having a skinning bench on this base would be kind of silly. It doesn't make any sense. But having a skinning bench down maybe by the river where the gators and the wolves and stuff are, that might make more sense. But if you have only a one by 2 and you open the door during a storm, your skinning bench is going to take damage. 
So when I was playing multiplayer at one point, I did a one by two with a skinning bench in it in the back corner and somebody left the door open for a storm and it caused problems. So luckily this storm isn't that big a deal. It's just a light wind. It's not doing damage to my base, although it did do damage to this. How about this? No, because this one is one, two. Actually, I'm not sure why it didn't damage this. It's just this one that was close enough. But you notice the window didn't. The window's not doing damage to this thing. It, it was just opening the door so the wind could get in. Now, upstairs, we are going to... We are going to put probably shutters on the windows. All right, so here's these. Now, we are going to need a few more of these. I'm not super happy with that. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm almost out of... Stone. Oh, I better eat that. It's gonna go bad. It, yeah, you can eat meat that's about to go bad and it doesn't bother you. It's not a big deal at all. See, there's that. Yeah, they're still barking outside. If you guys can hear that, I apologize. But it's, you know, it's 2022. So people have dogs and our idiot neighbors leave, they go to work at night and they leave their dogs outside all friggin' night long, which I, I usually sleep through it without any problem. My wife does not. She gets woke up by the dogs and can't get back to sleep because she's a slight sleeper. All right, let's do, okay, so if we go across, Okay, apparently I cannot count. Now, yeah, we'll put one, two, three, four, five, so six, we're gonna go six across there for the roof. So give me, did I not make? Okay, we'll go six across there for the roof. Then we're gonna need, I think, all right. Okay, yeah, we're going to need one more wall piece. And then we're going to need one, two, three, four. Two of each corner piece. Have I, oh, I haven't unlocked those yet. Oh, no. I don't have any... Oh, I have tech tree. I have three points available. All right, tier two. We'll be getting that, too. For our, for our prime meats, we're going to get an, an ice box. Oh, I might do a leather curtain window. Okay, so let's put up that and that. Oh, you know what? Hold on. We'll do that. And then... Oh, did I grab those? No. No, I did not. Gimme. Now, let's see if I can fit these on here. All right, four. No, five. Okay, so let's, that one will go here, and then it'll also go here. Uh-oh, oh shit. Oh, look at that. Well, that's less than bueno. Um, oh, it's because I went out one. I'm going to have to put a deck up here. Okay. Okay, that's that's easy. So let's we got one of these. Let's make another one. And then we'll just take I'm going to need a couple more of these then. All right, let's take that and I don't need the axe right now. And then I wish I could can I could I only take two? No. We don't need the fire whacker right now. All right, so we are going to have to put some supports up. See, that's, you know, it's durability, man. Durability is rough on this one. I think, you know what? Actually, one. Oh, no, because that looks tacky as shit. There we go. I can also put walls on the edges of these. See, to make them, to make them a little more robust. 
which I may end up doing if we get attacked up here a lot. I'm not going to do it now, but we may end up doing that. Okay, so that means we've got a deck that we can put the drying rack out here. I'll just turn this into a door and we'll just have like, this will just be like an entry. Maybe I'll move, maybe I'll just make that a doorway and I'll put the main door right here and leave that open. That could be interesting. Just have this a doorway and then put the main door here. The only thing that'll do, that'll be bad because of the roof and that'll be bad for this crafting bench. Yeah. So we're probably not going to do that. All right. Building episode. Let's continue. So we've got these. Get them all going that way. Okay. And then we should be able to put that up now. And we want... Angled left, angled right. All right, there we are. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know why that's blue, but we have a fully stoned exterior. The interior is not. This, I'm not super happy with that looking like that, but, you know, is what it is. The, oh, we need a stone chimney. Where did I make that? In here? So I think we're going to need an extension and a cap. So I've got the wood. Let's get the stone from outside. That should be enough. Oh, and I got to do stairs and doors. Okay, so let's do the cap and an extension. Okay, now the extension is going to go here, and then the cap will go like that. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! That looks so good. That looks so good. There might be... Oof, here we go. Four. Yeah, there's a, there's a, a peak. So I could get up there and put a peak up for the for the stairs. But we're not with I mean with the slope. You guys let me know. Do you think it'll look better if I do that? If I if I put a peak up there or or are we liking the flatness? All right. So this cleared it out so when we get the fabricator we can throw it right there. I think it's called a fabricator. Is it a fabricator? Uh machining bench. I've been playing Ark. All right, so woods, wooden plants, animal bits, misc, and stone and rock. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, is there a bow? No. Maybe you have to make it on the machining bench. So, with the animal bits, there is a bow you can you can make that is made out of. It's tier two, and it's something you get for killing the sandworm. And I was thinking maybe maybe I was able to make it because of the um, my old character having done it, but I don't think that's the case. I think you have to I think you have to uh, do it with each character in order to get it because there's also a special kind of hedgehogs you can make, but not so much. All right, so this stuff is all done, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing else to build at the moment because we're, we've got one point left. I'm kind of tempted to build the short range radio just to see what happens. Oh my God, another storm. That's for exotic retrieval, but yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's, let's build it. Where do you build it? The crafting bench. And I think I have all of that in the crafting bench. No, I'm out of iron. Oh no, I'm not. I mean, I'm... Oh, I'm out of water. That means my water bladder's empty. Oops. Got a storm coming. Switch this out. Oh, my oxygen is too. We'll go switch both of these out. So, for now, the oxygen thing will stay here. 
Oops. Give me that one back. Once I get a better oxygen bladder so that I'm not using it constantly, I'll move the bladder upstairs. Or not the bladder. I'll move the dissolver upstairs and get it out of the way. Because it's going to come a point when I get the better oxygen thing that it, I'm only going to need this like once every five or six days. So it, it won't even be a thing. It'll be super handy. Okay, so here we go. Now, we'll put this upstairs. I doubt we're going to use it all that much. Okay. Let's see what kind of missions we got. I'm excited. Uh, let's put it... Oh, hell, I don't know. Back against this wall. Okay. Oh, hey. Missions available. Request a mission by clicking the button below. Find the bodies of a prospector team killed while on Icarus and deliver their ID to the UDA. Whoa. Okay. So that must be where we deliver the body. Search the area and collect prospector IDs from fallen prospectors. So if we hit the map... Oh, wait, what? Is it just this... Is it just this spot? We just search over here? That doesn't seem like a medium difficulty. But that's okay. Let's, uh... Well, let's wait for the storm and go do that real quick. <laughs> there's a... There's a bear over there. How many arrows do I have? 33? Plus one? Well, we're gonna have to take the bear out. Like, you can't not take the bear out. Hey, bear. We're getting there. 400 critical damage. 400 headshot critical damage. And this is just with bone a or st uh, stone arrows. If I was using bone, I'd do even more. So, someone mentioned in the comments... They weren't my comments. They were comments of another video, but... The bone is the way to go for these persistent worlds because the flint is a, a non-renewable resource and bone is a very renewable resource. Here's the problem I have with that. While bone may be renewable, it takes a sh load of bone to make an arrow. So let's see here. Oh, Jesus! Holy crap, man. I've never seen the brown bears that, like, spawn like that. There is a third bear. Here's the other one. Okay, that is the mission. Let's go... Where was the thing, the drop drop points over here? Alright, here's the end of the mission. Oh, windstorm. Three of... What do you mean three of... Oh, there we go. Whoop. Well, now what's dropping? Collect... Oh, it's a payment. What kind of payment do you... Storm knocked over a tree. What kind of payment do we get? That's kind of cool. 
Oh, look at this. I could get some sulfur, coal, and iron. I could get an iron sickle, lilies, and squash. Some platinum. Wave. Oh my god, yes. Are you kidding me? Wayfarer leggings? Dude, you need to do more missions. That's some baller gear. And I've got this parasite, or festering wound. So apparently, if you leave the sutures too long, you get a festering wound. The other thing that might be kind of bad is I'm not sure where those bear are in relation to the base. But I need to deal with this festering wound. Did you see that crap? That is not good. Negative 5% experience gain. My ass. Alright, well, I didn't want to have to get... What did... What is it? Blah, 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 blah. Anti-parasitic. I have an antibiotic. Food poisoning, wound infections, and pneumonia. Antiparasitic. Removes festering. So we just need... We need a piece of wood. Look at all this meat. This is ridiculous. This is a grand amount of meat. Throw all that in there. And most of that wood. That cooking. Okay, so we need one of these. And then coal, but I think there's coal in the herbalist bench. Yeah, anti-parasitic. Okay. And we got free platinum. That that was the reason I went with that. And then Wayfarer's leggings. They Oh, it must have equipped itself automatically. Yeah. So, let's see. Physical cold cold and heat resistance plus 4% exposure. So this is the desert the desert clothing. Pretty cool. I don't know if I'll keep wearing it, but we'll see. Alright. Let's eat that. And we're done. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you did enjoy this episode. Look at this. This is great. Can we do another one immediately? A build mission. Build a watchtower and place a beacon to mark the location on the map. Collect a radar and perform a simple scan. So we can't do that one because I can't build radar yet. Build a watchtower and place a beacon to mark the location on the map. Hmm. I'm not sure what that's going to require. But if it's anywhere near as hard as this one was. Because that was a lot of bear. Though we did get a lot of good materials. And I am considering the bone arrows instead of flint. Considering it. We've got a couple of points to spend now. And I'm going down here to get more yield from metals. That one I, I care less about, but increased yield from metal deposits. That's mining iron. Is it just iron? Stone and iron, yeah. So I'm kind of wanting to go down this route here now that we have the combat. I mean, we don't have all the combat perks. Increasing critical hit multiplier would be good. What is this? Fired arrows will lock onto targets. That's interesting. 5% chance to immobilize. I don't really care about that, but this one might be good. Um, yeah. I think. And then the damage ones, this one. So I think we put a couple points into here and then a couple of points into here at some point. I think would be good. But as far as the next arrow type that I want, I'm not 100%. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, the flint has its benefits because flint arrows are metal. They're going to be easy to get. They do a fair amount of damage. Bone arrows we get pretty much for free all the time. We get, we get bone constantly, so that would be good to get. I don't know. I'm not sure which one to do. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, maybe I'll hold off until then. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for a little bit more content, and uh, leave a like in the comment section, or a comment in the comment section. Share with your buddies, share with your friends, and as always, everyone, 
Have a great rest of your day. Shut up and sit down.